What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. And today I'm going to go over seven plays in the Pacers playbook here in 2K22. Three of these plays are going to be on current gen and four of these plays are going to be on next gen. So with that being said, let's get into it. The first play is the quick 13 pin down. This is a three point play. So you can call this for anybody that has three point priority. If you don't know what play priorities are, I'll leave a link to a video in the description where I talk about that. And I also go over a lot of things related to offensive play calling in that video as well. And this play is designed to get you a three on the wing. So I'm just going to run it and then I'm going to go into replay and go over it. So right here, I call it for Duarte. He's going to start over here in the corner and Brogdon is going to have the ball at the top. Then Duarte would just get a simple uh, down screen from Sabonis. Come out to the wing, and a lot of the time he'll be open for the three. So this is just a simple, quick, easy pin down screen that leads to a uh, three. Really fast. You could get a shot within, you know, four or five seconds. So this could be good for two for one situations, end of quarters, end of games. Um, or if you just want to get a really quick shot. The next play is the fist 15 horns quick. This is another three-point play. You could call it for anybody that has three-point priority. And it's a pick-and-roll play, but you have a corner three option for your shooter. So right here, I call it for Duarte. He's going to start over here on the elbow. And Brogdon has the ball at the top. Then the play starts as a pick-and-roll between Brogdon and Miles Turner. So I take the screen and I drive and as I drive, Duarte gets a screen from Sabonis and goes out to the corner. So you got some pretty good options here. Um, right here, Trey Young, he actually gets hit by the screen and he's pretty much out the play. So I could hit Miles Turner on the roll right here because Capella does pick up. But um, when Duarte comes off the screen, he get uh, Kevin Herter gets hit by the screen. So Duarte is open for the corner three. So I like this play. You have some pretty good options and it puts a lot of pressure on the defense, especially against somebody online because they can't be in two places at once. So once you come off this pick and roll, like this pick and roll right here, they they have to, you know, they have to guard this. And they're going to be so focused on stopping this pick and roll right here that they're not really going to see this action happening right here. So you'll have a lot of situations kind of like this one where like right here I decide to drive and basically the whole team just drops into the paint. So like, I mean, I could kick out over here because that happens sometimes too. Like when you drive, especially on pick and rolls, like the corner guys, they just they just drop for literally no reason. Um, If you even if you do fix your settings, like sometimes they will still do this. So you have situations like this where like this guy, he just drops for no reason. He has no business down there. But um, even then, like right here, this guy, he may like drop and he might try to get back out, but he has to go through the screen. So you could get this corner three right here. Um, I could have hit Turner on a roll here, too, or possibly just like backed up because we did force a switch right here. So like I could have backed up, gave it to Turner on the post. So like like I said, you have a lot of good options here. Just be careful when um you come off the screen and you try to drive because like there is a lot of traffic here. So like this guy right here, he could easily blitz you and like he could get a bump steal, which I like, or just like you just lose the ball. Or like when you're here and you have like a lot of people around you and like somebody jumps, they will jump like thinking you're shooting the ball when you're really trying to pass, but they will still like knock the ball, knock the ball loose or just like um, get like a, a, a pass lane tip just by jumping to on a block, which is annoying. So, um, be careful of all those things. Be careful of that. And yeah, like I said, this play is pretty nice. And the last play is the fist 24 give swing. This is a pick and roll option play, and you can call it for anybody that has pick and roll ball handler priority. And even though this play is, a uh, it's a handoff that goes into a pick and roll. I like using it to get some threes.
So right here, I call it for Brogdon, but uh, Karis LeVert gets the shot. So he's going to be in a corner. Duarte has the ball on the wing. Then I'm going to swing the ball all the way over to Brogdon. And then uh, Karis LeVert gets a screen from Duarte and Sabonis. And like when he comes off these screens, he immediately cuts to the rim. But if you make the pass soon enough, you could hit him for an open three. So like I said, I like using this play to get some threes. Whoever is at your small forward spot will get the shot. And the actual like design play is not all that great. So like you swing the ball, you just wait here. Um, Levert, a lot of times he's not really open on that cut neither. So, oh, I messed up. But yeah, you swing, swing, and like you just kind of wait and just kind of wait. You pass this a bonus and then like you hand the ball back and then like it goes into a pick and roll. It's like, it's not horrible, but it's not like that good neither. So I don't really use it for that. I just use it for this um, double screen three option. So now we on next gen and the first play is the fist double stagger. This is a three point play. You can call this for anybody that has three point priority and it's designed to get you a three at the top of the key, but you have a lot of other options as well. So right here, I call it for Duarte. He's going to start in the corner, and Brogdon has the ball over here on the wing. Then he will get this double ball screen from Sabonis and Turner, and I dribble out to the other wing. So a lot of the times, you'll be open on this, especially if um, the defense doesn't hedge. Like right here, um, Capella doesn't really head, doesn't hedge at all. Trey Young gets stuck on the screen, so I could shoot this three, but I just wait, and then... Duarte gets a screen from Sabonis and Miles Turner. He comes up to the top. So um, this is what the play was designed for. It was designed for him to get this shot right here. So right here, he is open, but I just hold the ball. But he will be open on this on this um, action a lot as well. But I just wait, and then Levert comes out the corner, goes baseline. Then he gets a triple screen, and then he comes up. he comes up to the top of the key. And he gets open for the three. So this play is deadly. Like this act, that action right there, you can get that shot all the time if the defense doesn't hedge and they play it wrong. But even if you know they do play it right, boom, you got this action right here. And then, like I said, you also have that triple screen option. So like you just have so many different options with this play. The next play is the quick strong. This is a three point play. You can call for anybody that has three point priority and you have three opportunities for three point shots. So right here, I call it for Duarte. He's gonna be over here in the corner. Brogdon's gonna have the ball at the top. Then he gets a screen from Sabonis and Miles Turner. He'll come out to the wing. And a lot of times he'll be open for this three. So um, that's what this play is designed for. It's designed for him to get this three right here. So if he's open, you can give him the ball. But if he's not, you can just hold the ball and wait. And then uh, Sabonis will get a screen from Turner. Come out to the top. Sometimes he'll be open for this three. But if you keep holding and you just wait, you get this... Um, you get this screen right here, but as this screen is happening, uh, Levert actually goes baseline, and he gets uh, the screens from Duarte and Miles Turner. He goes out to the corner, and he gets open for the three. So I like this play, and this first option right here is usually pretty consistent, but I like and I like that you get a really good second and third option as well, just in case you can't make this pass. It's like somebody tries to play lanes on you or like they notice that you're running plays for a player. So like they try to like get in the lanes. You have pretty good, you know, second and third options. too. the next play is quick, strong double. This is a three point play. You can call for anybody that has three point priority 
and you have two opportunities for three-point shots, but you can also get a double ball screen as well. So here, I call it for Duarte. He's going to be in a corner. Brogdon has the ball over here in the wing. Then Levert will get a screen from Sabonis and Miles Turner. Come up to the top. I pass him the ball. If he's open for the shot, then you could take it. But I'll just wait. And then Duarte, he will go baseline. And then he will get screens from Sabonis and Miles Turner. Come out to the wing and he gets open for the three. And like I said, you could get a double ball screen with this play as well. So have the ball of Brogdon over here in the wing. Levert gets the two screens, comes up to the top. I'm supposed to pass him the ball, but I just keep it. So if you hold the ball, he goes over there to the corner. And then Sabonis and Turner come set this double ball screen for you. So I'll take the screens, the defense, they don't switch, they don't hedge. Trey Young gets stuck behind the screens, and I get a wide open three. So I like this play. These Both of these actions are pretty uh, consistent. So you'll get a lot of threes with these actions. I also like the fact that both your power forward and your center are setting screens. So like, especially if you play something like my team, you're more likely to have brick wall on, on, on those guys. So it makes plays like this even better. And the last play is the quick, strong dribble. Apparently, this is a mid-range play because you need mid-range priority even though it leads to two opportunities for three-point shots. But I had to go into scrimmage mode in order to show this because nobody has mid-range priority by default. So I just put it in the play selection, favorite play screen, and um, assign it to Duarte. So right here, I call it for Duarte. He's going to be in a corner. Brogdon has the ball over here on the wing. Then he, Duarte will get this double screen from Miles Turner and Sabonis. I don't know what Miles Turner is doing right here, though. But a lot of times he'll be open for this three. But if he's not open, you could just hold the ball and wait. <clears throat> and eventually, Karis LeVert will come out the corner, go baseline, and then he will get a screen from Turner and Sabonis. Go out to the corner and he gets open for the three. So this play is pretty good. Like I said, I don't know why this is a mid-range play. This is clearly designed for you to get a three, but um, yeah. That 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 first option right there is usually pretty consistent, but I like the fact that you have that second option. And I like that as a, a corner option. So, you know, corner threes, they've always been like just straight cash every single year. And this year, pretty much every jump shot is cash. But if you could get corner threes, that's always a good thing. So that's pretty much it for the plays. There are a few plays in this playbook that I didn't go over that are still pretty useful. Like this Fist AI 24 right here. Um, It's just a pick and roll play. But before the pick and roll, you get these Iverson screens right here, which can lead to a lot of open threes. This playbook also has a couple of double ball screen plays. So if you like plays like that, it has a few of those. So the fist double 14, dribble up here, boom, you get the double ball screens right here. Take your three, hit your roll man, hit your fade guy. Fist 62 horns, Nash is another one. So make this pass right here. Get your double ball screens. Hit whoever is open. Uh, fist 83 double is another one. Boom, boom. Double ball screens. Big guys open. So if you like plays like that, um, those are a few. You also have the quick one chest. I remember this from the Blazers playbook last year. I don't think it's in their playbook anymore unless it's on current gen. I think it's in the Mavericks playbook too on current gen as well, but it's a pretty pretty nice double uh, screen play to get a shooter open for a wing three. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. This playbook is pretty nice. Um, The current gen one is not all that great. 
there's a lot of other better playbooks out there but the next gen one is pretty good you got a nice uh double ball screen plays if you like those you got some pretty good three-point plays and like i said i like the fact that a lot of these plays have both your center and power forward setting the screens because they are usually going to be the ones that have brick walls so it's just going to be a little harder for those defenders to get over those screens and especially if you play my team you can easily put brick wall on those guys and make these plays even better so with that being said i uh, hope this helped you i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content